Hi guys, I'm back again with the second part of this tutorial how to make a spiral orb part 2 and today we're gonna make this awesome graphic. So let's create a new document. Um, press OK. Um, I'm just going ahead and seeing uh, you know if my document color mode just change it to RGB so that we have brighter colors okay so now I'm just gonna use uh, just open the symbols library and uh, open the florid vector pack and we'll work with this symbol right here yeah hold on option Duplicate it and make it so. Just select that. Do the same thing again. Like so. Select all. Bring it down. Just like that. So there's nothing overlapping here. So we have this. Um, let's do that again. We have your smart guides on. You can see the, you know, the pink marking on the right hand side of the graphic. There. Select all. The Gibson size. And just hold on all again or option on your computers and there you go okay so make this we can just expand this so I want to change the color so we can't change the color till I expand it so let's go and expand it okay press ok select the color it and now just drag it into the symbol library. You can name it whatever you want to. There you go. You can just delete it if you want. Um, so make an orb. Select the direct selection uh, tool here and uh, select this point and delete it. I'm not worrying about about the fills and the lines right now because that is uh, not important in this lesson. So we'll just go ahead and create a 3D revolve. Put on preview. Select my part and select the symbol you just created. Yeah, just do scale to fit. Um, they're not looking like circles right now so what we can do is we can go cancel cancel again and now i'm going to teach you something now we will go ahead and create uh, select these symbols uh, we can edit the symbols here you can delete this symbol and you can delete this symbol as well there and go back select 3D Revolve, select like that now part, select like the symbol, scale to fit. So we have more or less, um, you know, kind of round circles here now. So we we'll just, I'm just going ahead and clicking invisible geometry here. Um, there you go. Now we have a, we don't have any background now. Tilt it a bit. So whatever looks nice. That's it. Go ahead and click OK. Go to object. Select the span experience again. And right click, ungroup, right click, ungroup again. So you see this uh, 
the dotted line that is coming across around the uh, graphic we need to delete this line select the direct selection tool again and just click and delete this line again hold control command y and see if you have any other lines so you have this line here Yeah, so you see this is going right across, delete that as well. There you are. Now you have a clean graphic. Go back, press Ctrl or Command Y again. Okay, so now we have an orb. So I'm just going to select this. Um, I like to work in layers, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. Create a new layer. Call it top orb and paste in place you can do that with command shift command v or con shift control v so just select that and paste right in right in its place there uh, i'm going to select the bottom layer and just call it uh, bottom orb yeah <clears throat> so I'll select the bottom orb, right click, ungroup, right click, and then um, go to compound path and make compound path. I'll do the same with the top layer, right click, ungroup, right click, ungroup, and go to object. And make a compound part. The reason I'm doing this is so that I have all all the different sim, uh, copies of the symbols that are made. They are now one, as you can see. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create some colors for uh, our work. Uh, choose color themes. Um, this color looks fine, so let's just go ahead and add to swatch. Let's create a color for the background. Um, something like this would do. All right. So create another one. So I have the top layer selected now. I can close this. Um, let's choose, say, the shade. And for a lighter color, let's choose something like this. Um, let's drag this into the middle yeah. and uh, let's create another color here. Um, let's layer out a bit. Um, let's make this a little darker. Yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> and this will all look good, uh, you know, once we have the background there as well. Okay, so let's select the bottom layer, click gradient again, select the middle layer. Now the reason I'm doing this, uh, uh, selecting a light, uh, brighter color here is because there will be a light shining inside of the orb. Um, so let's do something like that. Um, little white color yeah that's it um, this looks fine for the time being yeah so okay now let's go ahead and create a background um, so I'll just go ahead and click a new layer name this the background that is uh, use the file size um, select a rectangle to And uh, create a background. And this, this is right there. Yeah, it's still selected. You can see it with this green light on here. I'm going to select a black. And like in the previous lesson, I told you this is a hundred percent black. Now I'm going to select a four color black so that my colors look better. And just lock that layer so that it doesn't disturb you at all. Okay. 
So now what we're going to do is let's duplicate the bottom layer. Just drag it there and let's call this light or one. Select it. Hold Alt and Shift and just reduce in size like so. And we just need to give it a, a blur. We'll go and select a radial blur for this one. Um, in fact, before we do that, because it has a gradient, it will take a longer time. So let's give it a flat color of, say, magenta. And we'll go ahead and uh, create a radial blur. Now, I'm going to do a spin. And then this, this is 100%. So you just spin it around. I'm just sticking outside so that you guys can see where it is. Select it again. And uh, go to appearance. You can play around with this if you want. And let's give it a soft light for now. Um, then, uh, so let's leave it to normal. Yeah. Okay, so while it's selected, I just need to make another Duplicate that layer. Let's call this light orb 2. Um, I'm just going to increase it by holding Alt and Shift a little bit. Yeah. And I'm just making it light. And I'm going to give this uh, opacity something like screen. Uh, we can just play around with this. I give it a soft light, or uh, maybe give it a hard light. Um, that's it. And then just drag it down here. Yeah. So you have that. And you can make this also say. 90% opacity. Okay, so just select this and this. Press Shift and select both of them. Go ahead and uh, just let's create another blur. Let's go for a little Gaussian blur. Press Preview and uh, let's increase this a bit. That is fine. So now this needs to emit light. Um, let's select the bottom layer again and duplicate it. Here's my duplicate layer and let's call this um, L light 1. Okay. So while it's selected, we'll go ahead and click. Blur again, radial blur. This time we're going to zoom it out like this. Yeah. So as you can see now, I have some light of it, uh, coming out of that. So we'll just go ahead and duplicate that again. Let's apply the light and. Let's call this light 2. Okay. And we're going to select this light 2. And we're going to reduce this like so. And we'll bring this right on top of the topmost layer. So that now, as you can see, the light is coming through these. So I can, I'll just move a mouse away and you can see that. So that's it. So this is how the light is emitting. Uh, the top layer right now needs a bit of work in the gradients department. So we'll go there and see what we can do. So we'll just select the top layer. Make this a little darker in color, like so. 
select the top light as well go to appearances and maybe you can have a soft light you click outside and see what's happening um, you need a little little more than that select that again Or maybe a screen, click outside, and then look bad. It's too much, it's not looking too realistic. So, press that again, and maybe a hard light. This looks good, yeah. So, let's keep it at that, and uh, then let's select the um, the first light uh, or maybe the yeah the first light again so what we need to do is we need to again just duplicate it let's call this shadow light and bring it right just above the background and we're just going to reduce the size to the original somewhere near there and we're gonna do that and there we go we have a nice shadow light as well which looks kind of realistic coming from the orb there <coughs> and now let's give the background a better gradient you just like that. Oops. Save the background, give it a gradient, remove this color, and make this. Oops. Make this uh, the. Make this black. Give it a minus 90. Yeah. And let's can reduce this like so. Yeah. Let me just duplicate the black now. Good. Select the shadow light. Bring it down a bit. Hold down shift so that it's aligned. That's it. And there you go. You have your bright or light the way it was. Same thing light. Realistic light, if you can see around. And when I say realistic light, is because when light, the caustics would go out, it will reflect exactly like this. So, there's your part 2, the second lesson for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the alert button and so that you can tune into more lessons the next time. Thank you.